Today I will show you how you can match the saturation between all your layers to make your composites even more believable. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. A lot of you guys asked me how to match the saturation between the foreground and the background, between the model and the background, or if you have even more layers, how to match the saturation between all of them to make your composites even more believable. Well, today I will show you one really easy and nice technique how to match the saturation fast and precise. Because if you want to match the saturation just by looking with your eyes in the image like I am doing a lot of the time, your eyes can be wrong sometimes and there are plenty of reasons for that. Maybe you are in a badly lit room or maybe you are in a too bright room like I am right now. I have a big octabox right here and the light is too bright for making this video and I cannot see the colors properly. So then I will use this technique that will help me to do the job perfectly. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Really guys, this is the example for today. I have two layers, the model and the background, this beach right here. So the model was on white background, as you can see right here, and I extracted it. This was really easy and fast job, so no point to explain you that. If you want to know more about how to ex extract or select and extract anything in Photoshop, you can go and watch my tutorial right here. Okay, and now I will just reposition the model to have a little bit better composition, maybe something something like this, that's really nice. And as you can see, obviously the background is less saturated than the model. So we can do two things. We can increase the saturation of a background or decrease the saturation of a model. So you will need to choose what you want to do. Or you can a little bit decrease the saturation of the model, increase the saturation of the background, etc. So I can go and use current saturation adjustment layer, put it down, put it, for example, on a model and clip it to affect only the model. And now I can just go and decrease the saturation. And maybe this is good, maybe it's not. I have already set two bright light here and I cannot see this properly. So for that, I will use one layer that will help me to decide this even better. So I will go and choose selective color adjustment layer and make some changes right here. Let's go from red to magenta and do exactly the same thing. Let's go and move the black all the way to minus 100%, all the way to the left. So reds, yellows, greens, blues, cyan, then blues and magenta. And this is first step. Then let's go to whites, move it all the way to 100%, neutrals all the way to 100% and blacks all the way to 100%. So this is how the image looks right now. And make sure that you are here on the absolute settings, not on relative, because if you're on relative, you will have some nothing, some crazy mess and you don't want that. So you want absolute and that's it. Now you can save this as a preset. So in the future, if you need this, you will uh, access it really quickly. So let's go here and say select, uh, save select color preset and I will save it as maybe Saturation check. Okay, and that's it. And now if I want to load it, I can go right here and choose my saturation check the default, then saturation check, and that's it. I have really quickly access to this setting. Okay, now I will not need this, I will collapse it. And as you can see right now, we have black and white image. Everything that is brighter, that is towards the white, will represent the high saturation color. Everything that is darker, that, is go, that goes towards the blacks, means that there is really low amount of saturation. The, everything that is black means that there is no color information in it. So, as you can see, the background is much darker than the model. That means that the background is less saturated than the model. So, we can do two things. We can go and desaturate the model. So, if I make the model darker, actually less saturated, it will become darker. So, we can play with that. And let's... Look at this and this arm because they are most saturated. This arm is the most saturated part and the part of the eyeglasses. As you can see, maybe like this. And if I hide this, check a layer, this is already much, much better. Or we can go and just play with the background. Let's go and saturate the background. If we saturate it, the background will come brighter and brighter. So we need something like, like this for a background. 
this is really nice this is more saturated part similar like this and this let me see maybe even more and now if i go and hide this you can see how this sorry how these two layers match even better together this is without it and this is with the match saturation or you can go if this is too saturated for you you can go and create new saturation adjustment layer put it all the way above and just desaturate everything a little bit if you have even more layers in the composites that you that you want to make a match of saturation together you just need to put on each layer to clip this uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer and then just play with play with that so that's really easy and so simple okay and now the image is done this is finished process and now if you want you can go even further with this you can add a lens flare maybe play with the contrast etc so let me show you that really quickly right i will go and add one of my lens flares that i made you can buy this those are high res lens flares you can buy them on my website the link is down there in the description so i will use this sun flare number four put it here as a smart object and just make it bigger like this and put it in a screen blending mode so i will just move it like this and this is much better before and after now i will go and add a little bit more contrast on the background just a touch as you can see right here i like it like this and maybe i can add even more contrast to overall image like this this is too much and i will just put this in luminosity blending mode to affect only the lightness not the color so so like this and guys this is it so let me just show you one more time what we went through today first we had only the background and the model and now as you can see there is so obvious difference in the saturation between the background and the model we first added uh, this uh, helper layer uh, to see better the difference between the saturation then we add some saturation to the background to match it even better then we lower overall saturation a little bit added lens flare then added the contrast to the background overall contrast and we finished with the image right guys and that's finally it for today i really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something new and useful from it if you have any questions at all regarding this episode please leave them in the comments below i will be glad to answer them if you like this tutorial press that like button share it with your friends and subscribe if you're not already if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do that by visiting my Patreon page and support me there. And of course, you will get something in return. The link is down there in the description. Read right, guys, have fun with your images, experiment, practice, and see you in the next fun tutorial. Bye-bye.